Hi, welcome to the Craft House by April. Today we're gonna to be doing a brand new painting I've never tried before, so you're gonna learn along with me. I don't have a name for this painting yet, but it has a really pretty landscape uh, with the moon and a sunset, and I love it and I love the colors in it. Um, so let's get started. Our colors we're gonna be using today are probably gonna be <laughs> white, yellow, this really pretty um, turquoise, like a dark turquoise. This is what it looks like. And you'll be able to see what it looks like on here. And um, if you like this color, you can match it to the best uh, of your ability. <laughs> uh, maybe a sapphire um, is kind of what it reminds me of, like a sapphire color. Um, it's not real blue. And then we're going to be using some uh, red into the yellow and then a white, black, and maybe a little bit um, of brown and some tan to go onto the trees. Okay, so my first step is going to be drawing it with a pencil, just kind of like outline where I'm going to put my colors. <clears throat> okay, and the first thing I want to do is kind of put my moon where I want it. So, I'm gonna go get a bowl so we can just trace around that and that'll make it so much easier. I found a coffee container lid, so I'm just gonna use that. Um, and I'm probably gonna position it I think right around here. You don't want to make it too dark because you don't want the pencil line to show up through your art piece. But for the most part, it'll paint right on, right on over. But sometimes if you try to put a light color on, you can't really cover it up. Sometimes, I don't know if I'll do that today, but sometimes I'll even take an eraser and lightly erase the line so you can really, um, so it's really not visible at all. But I do want you to see uh, the lines if you can. So there's my circle. I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the landscape lines. Um, I don't know if it's hills, I don't think it's mountains. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a mountain piece with uh, this same color, which is what I bought this for, uh, for my kitchen. So I'm really excited to get that all finished and show you guys that. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I guess on this hill first, it kind of goes up there and then I want the hill to go down a little bit more. On this one, it's gonna go, let's see. So I think that's a good start. Okay. So go ahead and get your white out. We're going to start with the white. We're going to use this brush and we're going to paint in the moon.
Okay, while the moon is still wet, I do want to go ahead and put some highlights in it with just barely any black. Like, I'm pretty confident that might be enough. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see. Yeah, you don't need a lot of black. I kind of wanted a gray color anyway. And I'm going to wipe it off to get it pretty dry and just lightly Feel like that gives it just enough of a little bit of gray in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go straight into the sky. Hopefully these paints are still good. <laughs> No promises on that. Okay. Okay, I still have a little bit of white and gray. I'm just gonna wipe it off. I don't have very much on there. But these are the two colors we're gonna start with. And I'm gonna start with the yellow. Kind of color in If you see some dark marks in there, it's because the pencil mark is kind of coming up onto the paint. This painting could totally be a date night piece uh, with two separate canvases. And it could also be um, really pretty on wood if you wanted to make it an art piece um, besides canvas. The mountain scene I'm going to be doing is going to be on wood. So you'll, you'll get to see that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and color the rest of it in now. And don't forget to paint your sides. My allergies are really bad right now, so <laughs> I can't stop itching my nose. If I take a Benadryl, I'll be drowsy and out of it and go to sleep, so I can't do that. I do take allergy medicine, though, in case you're wondering. ahead and go ahead and get the top and the sides. I don't know if I just said that or not, but
flamingo red and plum, so maybe plum would look good. So uh, let's just start with the red and see where we get. probably going to have to do some touch up on the moon uh, because it's pretty hard to go around it. I don't know if you've noticed my struggle over here. <laughs> I wonder how this is looking. Okay, I'm just trying to even this out now that I have the colors pretty much where I want them to be. There's a couple touch ups I'm going to have to do right there. But that's okay. I'd rather it be super close to the moon and have to touch up. All right, so it looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna add a little more red down here. I'm going to get back into the yellow just a little bit. Okay. So then I am going to get into my plum. And I'm going to jump over into this brush. This might be too wet. looking pretty guys it's gonna have to darken up a little bit more so I may have to let this dry So far, I think we have a pretty good sunset. I'm gonna let that dry and rinse these out. 
I'm going to take this small one and touch up. This is where we're at right now. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my brushes. And then we're going to get started on the bottom section. Okay. I'm going to try this paint called Tsunami. And it is a um, color I got from Home Depot. And I just got a sample. Oh, here you can really see it now. Isn't that pretty? So that's the color we're going for. It's all over my hands. So we're going to do this first top hill, this color. I absolutely love this color. Do you guys like this color? This I have the, a little bit of this color in my bedroom. Um, I made some mountains actually from a kid's room and then we switched rooms, but it still looks cute. I haven't redecorated it yet. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using it, like I said, in an art piece in my kitchen. It's going to be one of my accent colors. So I have new phones coming tomorrow, or actually today, and I'm really hoping that I'm not going to have any more problems with my memory on the phone that I'm using now. So yay, looking forward to not so many complications during my recordings, 
But, so I don't know where this dropped off just a second ago. So, but I did finish this. And this is where we're at right now. I'm now going to go into black. low battery so I hope you got all of that that I just painted I already love it. I hope you guys love it. And we're literally almost done. So <laughs> that was a fun painting. I really enjoyed that. Uh, this is definitely super easy for beginners. Um, it, I guarantee if you don't think you can do it, you can paint. You can definitely do this painting. Um, <clears throat> you know, circling that moon out is the best thing that you can do um, to, to help keep this look very crisp and nice. Um, I love the colors. Let me see. I still have a whole big old tree to put up. <laughs> I thought it looked plain. Okay. I'm going to add in some more purple real quick just to see how it's sticking. Okay, 
That's coming a lot better now. Okay, very pretty. All right. We are going to get started on the trees. We're going to get started on the trees, so I want to go ahead and clean my brushes up again, and I'll be right back. So I took a hair dryer to my painting, and I noticed some of the brush strokes um, showing through. Um, so this needs another layer, uh, another coat on the sapphire, or the um, tsunami is the name of it. So I'm going to go wash this out again, and then we're going to start on the tree for real this time. Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, chocolate bar is the brown I'm using today because that's what I have and I found first and I had uh, available to me, but any brown is fine. Um, and then for my shading of my tree, I have this tan already. It's called, it's actually one of my favorite browns, golden brown, um, but you can just mix white in with it to lighten it and that would be just fine as well. Okay, so here we go for the tree guys. I'm going to use this brush, it's the medium size one, and I'm going to start, it's still a little bit wet, I'm going to start off thin and then I can thicken it up as I go. It's easier to thicken it than it is to thin it back down. So, let's start by putting our tree on there. And that's where it's going to go. Okay, so I have thickened it up at the base down here and it goes thinner as it goes up and then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have this go up a little further but skinnier. I'm going to stop right there. I am going to take this one, I'm going to Y off into my moon. And I'm 
gonna do that again down here. And then I'm just, okay, it's the battery again. Okay, I am just going to um, put some small branches and twigs off of this. And you choose what looks best for your tree. Uh, because where I placed my twigs and branches may not look the same on yours because your tree is obviously not going to turn out the same as mine. So you, those are judgment calls you're going to have to make. But if you get stuck on um, a part of it, take a picture, send it to me <clears throat> if you're not in a rush and I can um, help you and guide you. Okay, I think that is a great start, and I'm absolutely loving this painting. Um, I'm going to be adding little white flowers to the tips of the trees, and then doing a little bit of shading on the tree, and that is all I have left to do. Probably not. I mean, I'm probably missing a step, because I always do, <laughs> but that's what I think we have left to do. So, I'm going to let this dry real quick, because I don't want my brown mixing with my white. Okay, I'm going to get into this brush. I'm probably not going to use it the way it was meant or it was made for. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to dip it into this tan and I'm just going to do a little shading on my tree. And I want it a little bit dry because it's easier to put more on than take it off. Um, and since the moon is on this side, that means this, the light would be um, showing up on the right hand side. So we're just going to go down the right hand side. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. We don't need a whole lot of highlights, just a little bit. It gives it a little bit of dimension.
okay it's pretty good okay and I got a little tan on my black here which is easy peasy fix So what I believe is the last step, back into my white, it looks a little bit gray, so I'm just going to add a touch of black. Very, very light gray. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> okay. Almost like a silvery color. It's so light gray. Okay. We're just going to start with a few. I think I'm going to go back over with a little bit of white. Well, it's definitely hard to see it on this, so we're going to have to figure something out. Okay. Okay, let me see if I've got most of that together. Okay. All right, let's go off of this. This is what it looks like so far. And <clears throat> I'm going to see what it's like to go over it with white. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little more black. I'm going to do three layers. So I'm going to do another darker gray, and then I'm going to get back over with white. That definitely helped going over the moon.
think that definitely gave it some more dimension. Very pretty. You like it? Definitely much better. And then for the final touch, oh, I don't have paper towels in here. Okay. We are going to go back into the whites. Another fun technique is what I do with the hydrangeas, and you can just use your finger and finger paint it on. That would work just as great. And it gives it a really cool effect. Okay. All right, that's it guys. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna bring it to you right now. All right, there you go. What do you think? Tell me if you like it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for painting with me today, and I can't wait to see you next time. I'm hoping I'll be in a new Bob Ross painting, um, maybe the same Mountain Summit, but I'm going to be doing it with acrylics. So I can't wait for you guys to see that either. If you have a painting that you think that uh, you would like for me to try, please message me, and I would love to try some new paintings. Thank you. Bye.